the foreign national who allegedly bribed Joe and Hunter Biden allegedly has audio recordings of his conversation with them. 17 such recordings. These recordings were allegedly kept as a sort of insurance policy for the foreign national in case that he got into a tight spot. Well, that was Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley with some new information revealing yesterday a Burisma executive who allegedly paid President Biden $5 million and Hunter Biden an additional $5 million has more than a dozen audio recordings of conversations he had with both Joe and Hunter Biden. Grassley says two of those recordings are with then Vice President Biden, while the others are with his son. Uh, Joe, your reaction? But look, let, let's just suppose you're one of the uh, millions of Americans, supposedly, who really is concerned about what's happening with President Trump uh, and sort of the legal jeopardy. Uh, okay, fine. But, but how are you not uh, over the top uh, uh, nervous about what these allegations actually uh, dictate? Uh, I think the most important nugget to come out of this, uh, basically what, what Chuck Grassley was saying, uh, is how this relates to the former prosecutor, uh, Victor Shokin. Because remember, it was the allegation uh, that uh, Donald Trump wanted an investigation into the, this prosecutor's dealings with Joe Biden that caused him to be impeached. Now, allegedly, there's a recording of Hunter or Joe Biden talking about exactly that, how they are going to do in exchange for $5 million to one Biden, $5 million to the other Biden. They are going to interfere on Burismo's uh, uh, sake uh, with this prosecutor who was then investigating him. This could change history. This could change the history of the Trump presidency. Uh, this could change the factcheck.orgs of the world who are telling us that, that Donald Trump was impeached because he made this nonsense up. Uh, this could uh, do a complete U-turn on the, the legacy of Donald Trump. Yeah, maybe. But, Liz, in order to have that kind of reversal, you need a willing DOJ and an honest FBI and an honest DOJ. President Biden's bribery allegations are growing, and yet the media is focused on this. Watch this. Is there any more information you can give on why he needed the root canal? Like, is he not good at brushing his teeth? Or does he need to floss better or anything else? Wow, are you talking to the millions of Americans across the country? Are you going to ask them that question, too? I did a little research this morning. I mean, look, I am certainly uh, not uh, uh, a dentist by any means, uh, so I cannot speak to uh, what leads to a root canal. Uh, so, Liz, they're all focused on Joe Biden's root canal instead of dealing with these incredible corruption allegations in plain sight. We now have bank records. We now have this document that goes through a bribe, five million to Joe, five million to Hunter. And now we understand that there are 17 recordings about it. No mention on the mainstream media about any of it. Yeah, I think there are two stories here, Maria. One is this horrifying uh, image of our vice president at the time, whose brief included uh, overseeing our activities in Ukraine, taking a bribe and having it recorded by the person giving him the bribe as an insurance policy. That's one story that really should have every American alarmed. The second story is that the mainstream media is simply covering it up. They're refusing to deal with it. I, I have to tell you, of all the things that we have watched happen over the last many years, this, I think, is the most egregious. Senator Grassley is a very respected member of the Senate. For he would not be coming forward and talking about this bombshell revelation if it were not in his mind, completely accurate. And by the way, we know this is not the only, I think it's a 1023 or whatever the number is from yeah. the FBI. There are more of them. There are more whistleblowers coming forward and saying, time out, everybody. This, yeah. is a, this happened. This is horrible. And by the way, why do we think that the indictment of Donald Trump dropped on the very same day right. that members of Congress came out to talk about what they had seen in these FBI allegations. It is yeah. so purposeful and so damaging to our country. It's infuriating. It's infuriating and it's criminal, the fact that we have seen, the, that the Oversight Committee has seen the document. They were telling everyone about this document, and that's the day that that's they right. indict Donald Trump. This is very much in step with the behavior of the DOJ and its M.O. Because don't forget, the last time Trump was indicted was on the very day we got the bank records. Remember the Manhattan that's right. DA? 
Alvin Bragg comes up with his indictment the day we get the bank records indicating that there were 20 shell companies of money coming from foreign uh, nationals, adversaries included, like Communist China, into 20 different LLCs, which then were distributed to Biden family members. So Trump gets indicted.